what are we doing at this point? We just got the key for the elevator, right? Yeah, so now we're headed back to the second floor. To go to the third floor. <laughs> or the fifth floor. Because <laughs> watching the elevators not go in succession at all, you know, whatever. Alright, now the thing about this dungeon that I really hate is that the numbers on the third and fifth floors are a bit hard to tell apart. And that's actually thrown me off many times before. Interesting. I'd start... yeah. Which, what? Which number did you get? Nope, you didn't get the right number. There's still time, but now <laughs> No. If you had picked an A on that one, you actually could have gotten it. <laughs> yeah, hindsight's 2020. Oh, well. And it is. So people who wear glasses, just look at hindsight. <laughs> You'll have perfect vision in hindsight. <laughs> just walk backwards. <laughs> moonwalk. Yeah, moonwalk. So what is it called when you moonwalk on the moon? Earthwalk. <laughs> but isn't just walking on the moon moonwalking? You can't it's walk called falling moon. over. <laughs> yeah. I was just going to say, you can't really walk on the moon at all. Yeah, you have to hop, skip, and jump. Just a hop, skip, and a jump past that crater. So what I'm wondering is why haven't uh, why haven't food companies gone to the moon and start started excavating the cheese there? Because we have enough cheese here on Earth that it's making people fat. Cheese doesn't. Well, I mean, cheese can make people fat, but I think there are a lot worse things that make people fat than cheese. Well, there are things we put cheese on, like burgers. But yeah, what what part of a burger actually makes you fat? The grease. Yeah. Which is on all of it, so... Well, it comes from the meat, though. Are you kidding me? McDonald's deep fries their buns. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why they're so soggy looking. <laughs> that was two. <laughs> that was two. <laughs> this is, in fact, four, too. Yes, it, it was. Is. <laughs> Why, why are you going over here now? Wait, did I start out over here? This is about the bathrooms, isn't it? Yeah, that's about to say. Okay. Oh, or not. This place is so confusing. Why can't they just have one centralized elevator? Or maybe like two centralized elevators if they really needed that much traffic? I do have a map of this somewhere. Okay, this is five. I can see it a lot clearer on this TV than my TV's at home. Than my TV at home. That's strange, because honestly, I think a lot of... Older game consoles look better on CRT than they do on like HD yeah. TVs, but whatever. Or should I say L LED or LCD, but this is LED, right? I think so. Like, I don't, I don't need a, a 3D TV. Yeah, especially, well, for the 3DS. Oh, okay, that's, a... that, that's, that's, that's like, I think that's like the first, and the first point at which like, when I was playing it, I was like, Callus is going to be back in your party again, isn't he? <laughs> and then I was sitting next to him and I'm just like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they really should not give you that there, really. Just honestly. <laughs> but, let's see, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, like 3D TVs. Yeah. Why? Like, I can partially understand it for theater. Like, some films, 3D looks good. Yes. Uh, like Avatar it was a good film to watch in 3D, but most of them are not. My most favorite, of them don't need it. My favorite feature about 3D, 3D TVs, even though it's not actually 3D, it's full screen split screen. Oh, that that is a nice yes, nice feature. Um, but still, I don't know. I just I don't feel like it's necessary a yeah. lot of the time. I prefer my images to just be in 2D, so I can view them from any angle without the need to use glasses. I already have glasses, so I don't care. Are they 3D glasses? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, they have to be 3D glasses. <gasps> well, they're, they're very 3D, important room. They're 3D until they close one eye. Yeah, that, that's also a problem. So if you wink at your TV a lot. <laughs> but I mean, I, I like the 3DS, I'm fine with the 3DS, I just think that a lot of things overdo it. Those fools in Asa. Who do they think they are? Daring to disobey me by delaying the ore shipments? Kill them. Find all those involved in the rebellion.
him and execute every last one of them. Set fire to the houses and show them what it means to provoke my wrath. Summon I wish he said, set fire to the rain. Send them to Aza immediately. Now, the thing is, the Mad Wolves are the special elite unit that Savina was the leader of. Your Magnificence, the people of Azar are merely protesting against such harsh labor conditions. What was that? Who gave you permission to grow up? Uh, growing up? Uh, excuse me, Your Being a human? <laughs> Listen to me, boy. I am the Emperor. The people are my slaves. If I desire a juicy slab of torsia meat, they will find the animal, slaughter it, and present it to me. Whatever it takes. So, Joey, do you think this guy is a douche yet? Money, <laughs> oil on with no sleep whatsoever and pay taxes as ordered. If I tell them to fight, every single one of them. Man, woman, and child, if I so desire, will take up arms and fight to the bitter end. Somebody's a little spoiled. Jesus Christ. Is the soul you see, here's the thing. Of existence there's only the one of you, and universe. there's a lot of them. <laughs> you better be careful how you treat them. <laughs> they might not take it too so that's all. So basically, it was lewd protested that. So is the coward I once was. Yay, character the development! Is to stand up and fight for the people of Aza. He who was afraid of losing everything. Well, you did kind of lose everything, because he yeah. was banished after that. So that's the events that, that led to his banishing. And, yeah, Savina is really quiet and <coughs> mentally fucked up because she had to, like, kill children and shit in that village. And that's what made her leave the army. And she, yeah, she ran away to a new anyway. Yep, and that's where she meets your party. And that's where she's been ever since, so... Yeah, you should probably save. Yes, if they do, uh, provide it to you. Yeah. But, yeah. Plot. It's a pretty good plot, isn't it? Wait, what? Did you just run in between the two screens? Yeah, it's <laughs> weird. I mean, I've done that before, too. So I think this is going to take me down to... Third floor? Third floor. <laughs> it takes you from the fifth floor back to the fifth floor. <laughs> He's like a tube or something. <laughs> oh, no, darn. Wait, can we get hurt by this? No, but... it. Oh, it's not like Symphonia where if you touch yeah, obstacles you get hurt. Oh, from the Great Mizuti B. How strong Great Mizuti B. How strong. Get right. I'm sorry I don't play this game religiously. Alright, uh, so we have to find something to turn that off. Yeah, so guess what's over here? Del yes. The Emperor's private quarters. <laughs> now you need to remember that he that it's mentioned my, countless times that he had a very, very, very close relationship with Melodia, who is uh, for, the like 14, 15 year old Duchess of Miro, or not Duchess, but like the Duke's granddaughter. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've been hyping up this room for a while. Picture book. There's a picture book here. Let's read some of these things. Cosmetics clutter the entire, the entire dressing table. It hasn't been cleaned for a while. Check the bed. Oh, oh yeah, the bed. Check this out. That is so cool. That is really cool. But then look what's in here. Now check this drawer. Something is in it. A doll. And this is like that emperor that you just saw talking about how the people are his slaves. Pillow shaped like a heart. So you can talk Two to Two pieces of clothing on the floor. One piece is smaller than the other. So he played dress up with Melodia. Uh, yeah, talk to the bull. A toy duck is floating around the bull. Where you can trap stagnant water. 
We need a whole bunch of it. Uh, do we? I forget. Do, uh, do we, like, short out the circuit or something? No. Remember the big crystal ball on the fifth floor? Oh, right. You have to, like, give it a whole bunch of water for whatever reason. Now, can you I'm pretty sure it's four, but I'm going to take five just in can case. You, uh, can you take a... Can you go check out the door on the left? Does that do anything? There or is, is no door on the, on the left, but there might be text there or yeah, something. Yeah, there is. There's a the door well, on the left. It looks like a door to a balcony, right? To me. Yeah. Probably. Are you getting, like, six? No, I'm getting five. Oh, okay. I wasn't counting when I was just doing them. See, okay. you can interact. Light is coming from a big window. You feel like you want to... What, here? Sunbathe. Oh, okay. What did you think it said? Just bathe? <laughs> I didn't see it. So, yeah. Probably so. That was... Gildo Butt. Room. That was Gildo Butt's room. It's like, why, why do villains just have such easy names to make fun of? Ganondorf? Gildo Butt? Yeah. I took him off with one from Melodia. Got anything? Yeah. Joey, you're really good at making insults, but I'm just kidding. <laughs> Melodica? <laughs> nah, not quite. That'd be Melodia. <laughs> no, it's Melodica. <laughs> no. <laughs> so all we need is water. Where can we get water? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. The shove, is. shove. Should I have cool this? Maybe we should get Joey to do this part. He's good at mashing the button. <laughs> <laughs> we should have had him take it all from the pool, yeah. <laughs> I wonder what the fast, like the fastest record for mashing a button is. Probably not quite enough to get through Star Fox Adventures. <laughs> it depends on the depth of the button. From what I've heard, that wasn't a bad game, it just was a bad Star Fox game. There were there are horrible parts of it where you have to do impossible things. Well, but what I mean though is that it basically was a Zelda game. <laughs> For all intents and purposes. Nah, not really. the yeah, you didn't do any flying except to get around. Well, I know you didn't do any flying. I'm just disagreeing with you that it's a Zelda game. Well, it pretty much is. Dungeons no, it's not. Zelda special. games are possible. <laughs> I should, I should Zelda games it. do not make you roll a pen across your controller so that you can mash the A button fast enough. I think you're probably... Uh... Exaggerating just a little bit. I did legitimately have to do that. I don't know if I believe you. <laughs> well, I remember doing it. You should have called me over. Yeah. I, sh I, I don't think I had your number at that point. I don't think I, I, know, I that barely. Was that was back when I barely knew you. I knew you like as just one of his one of Red X's friends. Ooh, it's a tunnel. Tunnels always mean bad things. Secret tunnel! <laughs> Especially when you hear laughter in a tunnel. Yep. So, Bob, who do you think this is? Uh, it's Kalos? Who knows? Nope. No. <laughs> I just wanted to make you say that. I'm sorry. It's Fadro. It's... <laughs> and then, I, and then I... <laughs> You're the general. It's kind of like the blue smoke in Metroid Prime Hunters. Yeah. La-dee-da, never played Metroid. Well, if you're gonna play Metroid, don't play that game. Yes. Noted. That's like one of the few Metroid games that was actually bad. It's probably the only one, really. <laughs> Just had issues, man. Here's the problem. I think I think it was really more oriented around the multiplayer. Yeah. You know, I went back to playing the multiplayer a couple months ago. Really? Have you ever people still played it? No, it. no, I, I just played it with a friend, we couldn't figure out what's new, oh. so we did download play. Have you ever noticed... I never noticed before how bad the frame rate is in that. Oh yeah, it is. It's terrible. <laughs> but, I mean, think about it though, it was one of the earliest releases on the DS, right? Yeah. So that's... <laughs> for having multiplayer of that quality... Well, and since you're doing download play, download play is terrible. Yeah. Oh... Uh, 
No, Death Death Play is a good idea. It's just yeah, it's a good idea, but it just doesn't work. Yeah, very well. we're at nearly an hour and twenty minutes, so let's cut out here. Okay. Okay. See you guys later for more bots and Kaitos in which we face Callus, the White Winged Darkness. Flipping through his body there. All those in rebellion will perish. This sounds just like the Empire. Yeah. And this song is on my iPod, too. That's hardly surprising. <laughs> yeah, I don't listen to it that much, actually. I don't, I don't like it all that much. I might take it off. Uh, he's gonna take it off, everyone. Are you listening to this? It's called Glowing Cloud, though, which is a nice Nightfall reference, but... Evans Yeah. Yes, and that, that attack somehow has something to do with time. Yeah, that's a Kronos attack for whatever reason. <laughs> it like, actually looks you... like a stone attack or an earth attack. Yeah, like, what would it be like, though, if it was, like, Heaven's Pillar? Yeah, that's the one thing I don't like about Mizuti is that she doesn't have any light attacks. Which Shella does. Yeah. Wait, so do, are all of Mizuti's attacks either type, like, or finishing moves, typeless, wind, or Kronos? <laughs> No, she has a water and a fire, too. Okay. So I know that certain characters only have certain types of, like, finishers and moves in general. Yeah, and she also has a dark one. Gotcha. Shadowgate. Right, right, Shadowgate. Shadowgate! Wait, is that her level 9? No, her level 9 is Planet Soul. Right. That's Kronos. Oh, so Joey, if you haven't figured it out by now, if you use cards of opposing elements in your in, a, in the same turn, then they weaken the attack. Ah. So I don't think he could have figured that out by now because I don't have opposing elements in my deck at all. Yeah, that's why. I figured there's some it. disadvantage to it because he said that I'm not going to have opposing elements in my deck or whatever. Yeah, well, that's why. Oh, it's a good thing I have wind. Yeah, because you use Inferno, I'm assuming. Yep. yep. Whoa. Well, yeah, you can see what. This is confusion. He uses. Okay, see, so Confusion is the one that moves it. Crotch eye laser! <laughs> Sorry, go on. See, so Confusion is the one that spins the cards around, right? Or is that the one that just. Is, 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 headache is the one that puts them in the. like the, On the sides uh, and such, yeah. On the yeah. side instead of the corners. And then Confusion makes them spin around, yeah. So you actually have to time it to get the number you want. This guy really likes attacking Mizuti. Yeah. He, he just doesn't want to attack me with it at all. Here. Gotta save the uh, green teeth. Yeah, that was supposed to cure his confusion. Oh, okay. Which, I mean, yeah, when you think about it, it's not really nothing more than a nuisance, but... Yeah. If anything, it makes it easier to figure out like which numbers are on cards because you have to pay attention to them. Yeah, it's surprising that even though we're taking around 500 damage for some of these attacks, that we aren't really getting low in health at all. That's because we're so bloody over leveled. And that's why you don't need to grind so much. <laughs> yeah, but I, I grind for Magnus, so not level. Yeah, I guess so. The levels are just like a happy bonus. <laughs> yeah, a fringe benefit, so to speak. Fringe. Sometimes with all these bosses, there just isn't anything to talk about. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's besides crotch eye laser, there's really nothing to this boss. It's just a boss, and they just kind of go on for a while. They keep going and going, going and going. At least it's not like Metal Gear Solid, where you defeat the boss, and then you have like 30 minutes of cutscenes. <laughs> So like, how, how long are some of those games, just in terms of cutscenes? 
Um, well, just the ending series of cutscenes in Metal Gear Solid 4 is over two hours, so it's a feature-length film in and of itself. Holy sh- Just the ending cutscene. I can see why, like, people get really excited, like, Oh my gosh, Metal Gear Solid 5! <laughs> the... The record holder for longest cutscene in a published game before that was the original Metal Gear Solid, and also to remake the Twin Snakes on GameCube, with like, 16 minute ending cutscene. But actually, they just blew it out of the water. Yeah. Yeah, Bonsai Kaisers actually has a pretty long ending cutscene. I don't yeah. know if it's Metal Gear... It's definitely not Metal Gear Solid long, but... That's just... I, I just can't It does take off. Damn it, Gilory. I just can't get over Metal Gear Solid 5's title. Yeah. Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, Tactical Espionage Operations. Operations, you're right. They changed it to Operations. This is so ridiculous. But I love it. Our Kingdom Mega Flood! I should probably heal her. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. You can also do combos when healing. Yeah, combos apply to everything. Also, uh, you you can you can heal your opponents. So when you use healing cards, they don't automatically work on you. It's happened to us before. <laughs> yeah, literally the one downside to this battle system over the one in the prequel. So you actually you like the Origins battle system more? No, I like this one more. Oh, okay. Oh, you're saying that's one feature of the prequel that's better. Yeah, is that you can't heal your opponent. Yeah, so they made a sequel, but that sequel that's a prequel <laughs> to this game. Um, and they have a different battle system in which you just have one deck for all the characters. <laughs> and it's like real time instead of turn based. Kinda, it's kind of. It's kind of like the jump between like Final Fantasy 4 or 5 to 6, but. Yeah, I know you, you played the first couple dungeons. You got to like the Sandworm, I think. Sandworm's Hollow. Yeah. Which is the equivalent of like getting the diadem in this game. Yeah, but I don't know. I, I liked the way that they did it in Final Fantasy VI. It was still kind of turn-based, but it was also real time. <laughs> it's technically real time, but whatever. And because the way the system works is that it operates in real time, but it's still turn-based. Yeah, because like time it factors into it, but it's not. Freeform. I, I I think probably my favorite real time RPG battle system is the one from uh, Symphony and Abyss. Hmm. I forget. There's the, like the a Tales really, battles. There's like a really complicated name for that type of battle system. I forget exactly what it's called, but it's like isometric something. Yeah, the isometric something something battle system. <laughs> There you go, you get to witness shuffling. How vigorating. I know. Orb of Annihilation! Did absolutely nothing. That's wonderful. Why do you keep doing that, boys? Crotch Eye Laser! <laughs> pew 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 pew! Okay, he's dead. This is not bad. I am no longer afraid of death. Your powers will be joined together. A tribute. Uh-oh. What? <laughs> oh, so that's what everybody does when they die. They evaporate into red smoke. Yep. <laughs> and then their soul comes out their crotch eye. <laughs> and then... And then... <laughs> No time to find out. It's kind of like the blue smoke in Metroid Prime Hunters. Yeah. La di da, never played Metroid. Well, if you're gonna play Metroid, don't play that game. Yes. Noted. That's like one of the few Metroid games that was actually bad. It's probably the only one, really. <laughs> Just had issues, man. Here's the problem. I think I think it was really more oriented around the multiplayer. Yeah. 
You know, I went back to playing the multiplayer a couple months ago. Really? Have you ever people still played it? Play no, it. no I, I just played it with a friend. We couldn't figure out what to oh. do, so we did download play. Have you ever noticed... I never noticed before how bad the frame rate is in that. Oh, yeah, it is. It's terrible. <laughs> but, I mean, think about it, though. It was one of the earliest releases on the DS, right? Yeah. So that's... <laughs> For having multiplayer of that quality, well, and since you're doing download play, download play is terrible. Yeah. Oh. Uh, no, download work. play is a good idea. It's just. Yeah, it's a good idea, but it just doesn't work. Very yeah. Well. We're at nearly an hour and twenty minutes, so let's cut out here. Okay. Okay. See you guys later for more bots and kaitos in which we face Callus, the White Winged Darkness.